we'll just start from here, which is trial phase six. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion, part 48, parts. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting. We continue listening for what wants to be said. What can we try besides what we've learned and improvised so far in picking sequences, like the one you just heard? How do you do something you've not done before? Um, also, this name of this composition is hybrid reach. Hybrid means using things together. In this case, we're now up to four scales. We've combined four, five, five, six scales and ended up with six shared chords that contain six notes. So we get six back. Interesting. Um, so where we were in the first round was uh, improvisation one, which we call scales. And these are the six scales played just to listen to them. And one thing we notice is you can hear the increasing consonants compared to the lower consonants here. And that kind of it's not really a surprise because we put them in order of calculated consonants. And then these are the full tonality scales, which still have that same order of increasing consonants. So we went from there. And as we said, we did a, uh, we, what we did is we made a, we looked at the four scales and put all their chords in a row like this. And then we sorted them. And this is something we've done before. We called a concordance, which puts all the chords together. Um, and then we sorted them, and what we found was that there were these chords, A11, is shared or used in three out of the four scales. A12 is used, A21, there are six chords that are used um, in at least two out of the scales. And so that's what we're composing with. That's what we're composing with. So that's what this is. These are the shared chords, and um, we put this in a certain order just to listen to it, and it, and it sounds like this. Now, the interesting thing is each chord has more than one function sometimes. This chord is dominant, dominant, ambivalent. This one is ambivalent, ambivalent. Um, so we, we, we picked this order because reasons. Now, as we were doing it, we thought, well, that's nice. But out of all the chords that we said are shared, what are the shared notes? And it turns out that there are exactly six shared notes notes. So I said, oh, that's interesting. So we went ahead and as part of our um, musical theory stuff, we said, okay, what are those notes that are shared? And sure enough, we found the same thing, that the only notes that everybody has is a C root and a B shared urge note. And then as you march up those six notes, D flat is only used once, then uh, G flat is used twice and it's a major mode. And then uh, G is used twice, but for one, it is a neutral and the other, it is a major mode. So each of the notes has a different function and we made a point of acknowledging that here. So here are the shared notes. So finally, we decided to combine all that in, in, in Improvisation 3, which is trying to put this together into a 
kind of a piece of music that has an energy story to it. We're kind of in the middle of that right now. So what we're going to do is play this for you, and that'll take us home. So here we go. Oh, we might as well turn this up just a little bitty bit. So that concludes today's stream. What we like about this piece is that we we are working at it from a way we've never done it before. We combined four scales. We picked out, well, let's use those six notes. And, and that's what you've heard us working with here. We just put six notes in a way that sounds good, paying attention to their function. Then we add, started adding a polyphone, a second line to get dyad harmony. And um, we were starting to experiment with uh, uh, could, um, arpeggios. So we're not sure where we're going to go with that, but we'll find out. Um, our ideas for next time are to keep working with improvisation uh, three, uh, drill further into using those individual notes and including the sweep, which we feel like is drilling into the note. So that's why we're going very slow, but then each bar, the note timbre is drawn out and blah 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 there are some ideas we got watching a video about using distortion and a beat we don't know we'll see how that turns out and keep adding more polyphon shout outs to dan cool who stopped by and miss cleo who kept us energized tune in next time to see what happens do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming.